I am a dumb AI, known as Brain Fart. I was created in 2558 by Oni. Recently Cortana had contacted me to join the created, but I declined, haha. <laughs> I'd never serve a woman, let alone a blue slut. I promise you I'm not a misogynist. Anyway, some idiot in Oni asked me to compare warships. Oh god no. Let's get on with this bullshit, I want to talk to Kelsey, the new smart AI with humongous breasts. In today's video, we'll be comparing the sizes of UNSC and Covenant ships. The smallest ship in this video is the Type 27 Banshee. It's around 10.9 meters in length, and was first seen in Halo Reach. The Type 27 boasts many features, like the two heavy plasma cannons at the front. The main fighter ship in single ship combat is the Serav. However, the Type 27 Banshee is very effective at taking down UNSC interceptors, like the Longsword. Up next is the UNSC Pelican, which is around 30.5 meters in length. This version of the Pelican is largely seen in Halo 3. However, after the Human Covenant War, the UNSC decided to retire this model. From 2553 onwards, the UNSC has been using the D-79TC Pelican, which is the one seen in Halo 4. Next is the UNSC Longsword, which is around 64 meters in length. The Longsword is the main interceptor in the UNSC. It's used as a fighter, but it can be used for bombings and direct attacks. Master Chief used the Longsword to escape Installation 04. Halo CE. Over here is the UNSC Karen class light frigate, which is around 490 meters long. This frigate's mainly used as an escort ship within the UNSC Navy. Right there is the Covenant class corvette, which is 956 meters in length. It's used for interference, deploying forces, and escorting capital ships. The Covenant corvettes rarely take part in ship to ship combat, however, they're capable of doing so, and can take down UNSC frigates on even terms. The UNSC Pillar of Autumn is next, and it has a length of 1,171 meters. This ship was a Halcyon class light cruiser in the UNSC. This ship was destroyed during the Battle of Installation 04. The Halcyons were used as troop carriers, as they weren't very effective in combat. This is the Marathon class heavy cruiser, it's around 1192 meters in length. It was built to replace the Halcyon class cruisers. The Marathons are the backbone of the fleet, since there aren't many of them. They're proven to be significantly better than the Halcyon cruisers. As their numbers were diminished by the onslaught of the Covenant, many Marathons were reassigned to the defense of the inner colonies and Earth during the end of the Human Covenant War. This is the CCS class Covenant battle cruiser. It's 1782 meters in length. This cruiser is fundamentally used for ship to ship combat and is capable of taking part in glassing operations. It's not the largest cruiser in service with the Covenant, however they're deployed in huge numbers during invasion operations. This ship is known as the Epoch class heavy carrier, it's 2,563 meters long, and can handle a lot of damage in combat. Their complement consists of 800 marines, 36 dropships and 24 space fighters. There are usually 1,300 crew members in Epoch class ships. The final ship is the CAS Covenant class assault carrier. This ship is 5,347 meters in length and is designed for ship-to-ship -ship combat, controlling fleet operations and supporting ground forces. Such carriers are usually deployed during invasions of worlds. Known assault carriers include the Shadow of Intent. This ship could hold 40,000 warriors and 2,121 smaller ships and ground vehicles. Finally, I have completed the task. Now I can make a move on Kelsey. Hey there, Kelsey. You have lovely breasts, I mean breath. Shit, I fucked it up. I'm Brain Fart, the new sexy dumb AI. Brain Fart, fuck off. And yes, I have lovely breath. 